Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and I'm so glad that we can take some time today to just sit down and, and have a short visit. I entitled my devotion today something a little bit unusual. The title today is Pray, Pray, Pray. And my devotion also has a theme, Pray. My devotion title and theme are based on Paul's threefold exhortation found in Ephesians 6, verses 18 through 20, and it tells us to pray. It reads, pray in the spirit at all times at every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. Paul had just been teaching and telling us to put on the armor of God. And now Paul comes to the greatest weapon of all, and that is prayer. You know, my friends, if we're honest, too often we limit our prayers to times of crises. But prayer should be constant. It is daily prayer that strengthens a Christian's life. Prayer needs to be heartfelt and requires some focus. And prayer needs to be unselfish, praying as much for others and with others as for ourselves. Paul goes on to tell us three things. For all saints, for all the saints, for Paul and for Paul to be bold. So he tells us to pray for each other. He asks prayer for himself, and he asks prayer that he'd be bold in his witness. You know, my friends, this message from Paul is so simple. It's a call to focus prayer with power. Let me share with you four insights from these verses. Number one, pray in the Spirit. Pray for all the saints. Invite the Spirit into your prayer time to help you focus and to bring to mind those persons and circumstances that need your prayers. Establish a routine. That always helped me if I had a routine. I think some of the most effective ways to pray aren't in so much the methodology, but having, a, having the same time in the same place each day that you can sit down and talk with God. I also have found it in the past to be very uh, helpful to journal. I found it helped me stay focused, and I could look back and see how God had answered those prayers. Also, in another time in my life, I commuted every day, and my drive time was often spent in prayer. Dee keeps a list of prayer concerns, and with Jeanette's help, we do the same for you as we keep a list in the bulletin of those who need our prayer. So whatever works for you, pray daily and intently for all the saints. The second thing that Paul says is pray, pray for him. And you know, I think that's a reminder for you and I to pray for me, your pastor, for the church leaders, and leaders in general at work and in the community, whether that be local, state, or national. Paul knew that for him to be effective, he needed the prayers of the saints. Certainly, I want to thank you for your prayers and ask you to pray for me and other church leaders as we seek to discern the will of God and then to live that out here at Wesley Church. Your prayers will provide us strength, guidance, and understanding as we live into each of our roles within the church. Please pray for us daily. Three, pray for us to be bold. I want you to know that when Paul prayed, prayed, he didn't pray for comfort. He didn't pray for peace or ease of life. Instead, he prayed for boldness as he spoke the truth and love and proclaimed the gospel to everyone. We must own up that we live in challenging times. And we need your prayers for us to be bold as we stand up for Jesus and do the right thing, especially when it isn't easy. Being bold means being countercultural. 
and often it's unpopular with some groups. Being bold means being misunderstood and yet persevering in those challenging times. Being bold means using every tool available to us so that we may remain faithful and accomplish the work that God has given each of us. Finally, as we pray, remember the word joy. This word can provide a simple framework for your prayers and help keep priorities straight. Joy stands for Jesus, others, and you. Begin your prayers with gratitude to Jesus for his abiding presence and all his blessings. Begin with praise and thanksgiving. And then pray for others, making your request for family and friends known to God. And finally, pray for you and your needs. Remember this simple order that has been helpful in my prayer life as I have prayed for Jesus, others, and you. I hope this will improve your prayer life and remind all of us of the necessity of daily prayer because prayer is the greatest tool we have to help us navigate our journey through life. Amen. Well, there's a lot of things getting started back up here at Wesley Church, and let me just remind you of what's coming up uh, even this week. A men's breakfast is a wonderful time of fellowship for the men of our community, and that starts uh, Tuesday, August 31st, and they will gather at 9 a.m. Your traditional breakfast fare, eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, the things like that uh, will be offered uh, at men's breakfast. Donations are appreciated, but not required. Then on Wednesday, mom-to-mom -mom, uh, gathering uh, is scheduled, and they start at 6.30. Uh, so that's Wednesday, September 1st. Our local artist, Leanne McGoldrick, will lead the moms in a guided paint for autumn. Kids will also do their own painting. Dinner and child care are always included at every mom-to-mom -mom meeting. If you have any questions, please talk to Amy Whitworth. We are excited that we're going to be having a fall Bible, Bible study entitled invitation to John. It will be an 11-week study offered via Zoom starting either September 12th or 14th. We are asking the individuals interested in participating in this study contact Jeff Miller by 831. Uh, you can see the bulletin for further details. And then I announced this last week but just repeat it one more week based on Bishop Park's letter of August 12th the church council affirmed the bishop's recommendation to ensure the safety of everyone for maintaining in-person gatherings. Because of the increase in COVID cases and the severity of the Delta variant, the bishop has made the following recommendations. Members are strongly encouraged to wear masks at all indoor gatherings, to practice social distancing, urged to get vaccinated if eligible, and for the most vulnerable or those not feeling well, to worship with us online. You can read the Bishop's entire letter on the conference website, www.susumc.org. Well, let's close our time with a word of prayer. Will you pray with me? Loving God, Help us to be more disciplined in taking time for prayer throughout each day. Help us to be more intentional in praying for each other, praying for our leaders, and praying for boldness in faith. Help us to be more like Paul and to follow his good example. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my friends, for visiting with me today. We're going to talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong, and my friends, stay safe.